I'm Cliff Croce, the Cajun baby. It's his show, but I'm doing an opening. Got the cast from Cajun, Tony Fontenot, in Stevensville today, Big Bass. We got a special guest with us, Sergeant Winston Michel. What makes him so special, this is the guy that laid the foundation, that taught me a whole bunch about fishing at a real young age, got me started. So that's what makes him special. Big fish today, y'all stay tuned, we'll show him to you. I got a fish. He pulled it off. Look at that. I got a fish. I got a fish. I was, I was hung up. Wow, look at it. Not the big one, but just the way it happened was amazing. Healthy looking little fish though. My first cast, I got hung up on a stump under the water. So Cliff put the power poles down because he wanted to fish this tree up here. So I'm watching Cliff fish and a bass took my worm off of the stump, unhooked him, and got himself caught. <laughs> First time that happened. Last time I was out uh, doing a show, catching more crankbaits, I got caught up on a point and just was shaking that crankbait, shaking the crankbait, and caught a fish. Same thing with that Tony flipping that worm, just caught on the stump, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. Just, uh, fish took it off the stump, so get caught up, don't start pulling, just shake, shake, shake it, and, and fish will pick it up off the stump. Fish on. The only one who hasn't caught one is uh, the Cajun baby, and he's on the front of the boat. I don't understand that. What do you think, Wynn? I don't know what to say about that. It's not likely for him, but I guess it happens to everybody. Maybe he's giving us a break. Oh, there he goes. He pulls his out of the water. <laughs> he just hadn't found, the, never, right. Never hadn't found the right one. Yet. That's it. Babies, but the big ones are coming. Just something about seven foot rod. 50 pound braid and a jig. Life is good. Fish on. A little bit better. Look how his mouth is all black. Looks like he's wearing lipstick from the top and the bottom. What's the, what's the deal, bro? It should be in here. What's... Well, the majority of the fish been more to the back of the canal, but it had been warm for the last few days until we got this little cool snap. So I'm sure some of the fish that pulled up to want to spawn is probably going to back off a little until it warms up during the day, and then they should pull back up. So it should be a little better after the sun's out a little while.
Got him, Cliff. Oh, a wacky worm. You just got that black lips, too? No. Nah. just on the fence? Oh, got some black spots here on the fence. What we got here, a wacky worm? Oh, I got one, <laughs> and I got a wacky fish, too. Yeah, so what's so wacky about your worm there, Cliff? It's called a wacky worm because of the way you rig it. You just go, you just go straight through the middle of the worm, and it's rigged wacky style. Uh, it's not weedless. Well, oh, that's somewhat, a special you got hook. your weed going on this hook. It's somewhat weedless. I've never seen that kind of hook. But uh, wacky just refers to the style that you, you rig it, wacky style. This is more traditional. This is Texas style. You know, we call it Texas rigging. That's weedless. Uh, getting the cover real well, but this is a uh, wacky rig. Like Cliff was saying, the barb when you fish Texas style is hidden within the worm. had him hooked uh, a foul hook. That's why he seemed like such a big one. His gills are the same color as your hooks. That's why they call them trouble hooks. This one. Boy, these are nice. Not tournament fish, but nice fish to catch anyway. Pretty healthy, fat. Never found a bad one to catch, Tony. <laughs> what you got there, Herb? Yes, it is. Then explain how you tell the difference between a male and a female. The, uh, usually the female will have like a, a oblong circle behind. Um, the anus? Yeah. They'll, they'll have like another oblong circle where the male, it'll be like two round circles. And of course right now you can tell because they're a lot skinnier and a lot slimmer because most of your females are going to be, you know, filled with eggs right now so you'll better tell a lot better, you know. i jump jumping in, buddy. Cool, that's a nice one. Getting bigger as we go. Thank you, Lord. You see what's happening on Earth? Keeps catching them further out than we are. Oh, go on, Cliff. Make another excuse. <laughs> Just because I catch a couple of fish. No, we throwing up on the trees. You're throwing a little bit further out. Okay. And you're getting more bites than we are. All right. Very observant. Yeah, I don't take whoopings real lightly. <laughs> You got Cliff. You get him over the boom. Let me see if I can sneak one out of there while he's taking his off. His Uncle Irv put him on it. Top water. Oh wow, we're not gonna throw that one back. Oh my goodness. You know I've started to bring my sockle baits. <laughs> That's a good one. Golly. Yeah. Got Cliff.
I'd say he ate it. Invisible man. Get him herb. Long distance fish, herb. Oh, he's coming too. That's right bait, huh? What if that rogue's still? Cliff's over here getting my line unhooked from a stump and you pulling them from all the way across the bike. 